Good morning, Farmington High School. I'm Josh Cartwright, and I hope you enjoyed the fashion show. Now here's your morning news. Today for lunch, you will be having chicken nuggets in both lines. Recruiters will be here on December 13th for ASMSA for sophomores during both lunches. Your books are still on sale for $45. Make sure to order one before prices increase. You can get an order form from the main office, Ms. Bunsgaard, or an English teacher, or you can order online. Sophomores and juniors, get your applications in now for Camp War Eagle. The priority deadline is December 15th. Yoga meets Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday during both lunches in Ms. Fusion's room. Are you going to be 18 before March 3rd, 2020? Then make sure you register to vote during both lunches, December 9th through 11th. You will need to bring your driver's license or to know the last four digits of your social security number. Sophomores and juniors, go to your class of Google Classroom and fill out the course's interest survey. Bring pennies for your 3A class. There is a penny drive going on until Thursday, and the winning 3A class will get Chick-fil-A lunch on Friday the 13th. You can also donate paper money. Wear your ugly Christmas sweater on Friday, December 13th to celebrate the season, and you can also pay $1 to wear a hat to support the family of Stephen Carr. The holiday art market started today and will go through Friday. It will be in the morning outside the art room if you would like to purchase a gift and support the art club. Seniors, go into your Class of 2020 Google Classroom and fill out the survey to vote on the location of project graduation. And finally, here's the quote of the day. Attitude is more important than facts. George McDonald. Thank you, Farmington, and have a wonderful day. Good morning, Farmington. I'm Josh Cartwright, and I'm here with Farm Cards News, and I'm here with... Jenny Fuson. Ms. Houston, you lived in New York, and while you were there, you worked at a candy shop. Can you just, just tell us how that was? It was delicious. That's what it was. Um, yeah, you know, it's so interesting because up north, uh, ice cream shops are huge. That's what you do. You go to the ice cream shop. And so I was an assistant manager at Port Jefferson Frigate, and I got free ice cream, Hershey's ice cream, whenever I wanted. Um, I got free chocolate, Godiva chocolate, chocolate covered this, chocolate covered that, whenever I wanted. And free gummy this, free gummy that. I basically gained 10 pounds, but I felt like it was a sin not to do that. <laughs> You're also the sponsor of Yoga Club. Can you tell us why you decided to start Yoga Club? Oh, yes. Okay, so um, for myself, I started doing yoga as a way to um, find a place where I could just focus on me and versus like the 20 million things that I have to do all the time. And um, also a place where I could just breathe. <laughs> and so I realized really quickly that overall it helped me calm my mind and it helped me just take it down a notch so I didn't feel anxious and overwhelmed. And it also helped me work out different parts of my body. <clears throat> I started doing little bits of yoga in my ninth grade classes when I taught those and um, the kids really liked it and I think it helped give them a break because you spend all day long in a chair doing work all the time thinking about this you got to do and that you got to do and um, it just kind of gave students an opportunity to take a break. Um, so I realized that more kids need opportunities like that and then I read a book this summer called uh, oh, I forgot what it's called. Anyway, um, it's by Eddie Stern, um, and he collaborated with some scientists about the benefits of yoga. And um, basically, it's, it's a way to help you calm your nervous system. Like, I knew that because I felt it, but then it was really nice to read about that. And so I started realizing um, we all need that. We need to calm our nervous systems down. <laughs> so how many people usually show up to yoga? Uh, when the teachers show up, usually one or two, sometimes three, um, but students that either are, nobody comes, or maybe one or two to like, I don't know, 10, 15, <laughs> depends on, um, actually a lot of football and some track kids, they show up because they need it, and you know, they've been working out really hard, and it's just a way for them to stretch and relax. Thank you. Mm -hmm.